Uh, good morning and good morning to your viewers. Uh, Banyaza Lisufi leaves a huge uh, legacy that, you know, fought for the rights of black disadvantaged kids. Uh, if you know that, if you, you recall, uh, if there was any racial issues uh, in the sector of education, you know that Banyaza was going to be there. If there were any fights uh, in schools, Banyaza was going to be there. But not only that, he leaves much stable uh, 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 schools in, 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 in the, in mostly in the township. So I think in the, his, the person who has to take from him he has a huge, uh, you know, uh, issues to fill. Well, he has stepped up to the position, but this is the country's economic hub. No doubt there are some anxieties about uh, uh, the future ahead. What for you uh, are the big areas of concern as he comes into this position? Well, the, 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 the marginalized young people, uh, particularly from the townships, and also not the, but the safety uh, that people are always enjoying in, 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 in Gauteng, particularly your township, which are very volatile for any economic activity. And also not doing that, but the, the roads, uh, the roads in, 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 in part of Gauteng are still uh, uh, having serious challenges. I think when he steps in, he also have a serious challenges of for of trying to uh, uh, deal with issues of uh, uh, people who are still trying to do some uh, businesses out there and also trying to deal with the question of unemployment in in in, in how they not only that but he also has to deal with the question of uh, informal settlement that are here in in how so i think he has a serious task, task to do and the team that he might he, he's going to appoint must really work hard to ensure that uh, they carry on on the legacy of makura just in terms of the optics at the event yesterday, uh, at his inauguration, the presence of uh, the Minister of Education, Njimu Tsekha, with her husband, Matolo Tsekha, sitting next to uh, the outgoing Premier David Makura. Uh, what message of support can we read from that for the new Premier? Well, the message is that, uh, young men, you have a lot to work. Uh, carry on the legacy because you remember Motel was also the premier of uh, this particular province so I think they are trying to send a strong message to him to say we're in support of you when whatever that you need we're here to support you and we're here uh, for you to in order to deliver the uh, services to the mil 16 million people of uh, of, of Haute. So his commitment yesterday uh, during uh, the inauguration that he wouldn't let corrupt officials off the hook easily how can we hold him accountable to this promise well uh with the issues of corruption, I think uh, it, it was just that that particular statement. We are yet to see any arrest and convicted one. So I think uh, we, we, we we are hoping that uh, with his particular administration, no any other scandal that will arise now and then, particularly uh, coming from corruption and any other issues that really affects the question of service delivery. So I think most of us, we, we, we hope that Panyaza, uh, with, particularly with his stance in the society because most people resonate very well with Panya. So we are hoping that uh, he's going to deal with issues of corruption uh, decisively. So, but if he doesn't do so, uh, community or society will hold him accountable. So I think uh, the kind of uh, leader Panyaza is, South African or how the people are very satisfied, but we, we, we hope that he's going to harshly deal with any corrupt activity. So for now, let's just give him time, allow him a space to operate. As much as this, uh, the question of 413 million that has been reported about the, the time he was in education, I think let's allow him time to deal with many other important issues, particularly in ensuring that the people of Houting enjoy the services that come from, from his office. So just give us a crystal ball moment into that much awaited announcement in the afternoon of a provincial cabinet. What are your expected expectations there? Well, I think uh, this is a serious moment for Panyaza because Panyaza comes there as a unifier. Because you know that in the previous conference of the ANC, 
Banyaza a faction only won uh, his seat. So I think he comes as, as a unifier now. Uh, he wants to unify all the factions. So he will try, uh, even also the question of the alliance, he will try to try uh, not to patch them and so on. But I think Pakistan will go out. Uh, Mama Bolo might also go out. And also Muketi, uh, Dr. Muketi might also go out. And I think what he might do, he might also uh, bring young people uh, like a, a, a Kiribunidi I'm thinking of Ezra or Ochiluane. I'm also thinking of of Mzikumalo or Lesio Makuela. So I'm thinking that uh, uh, Panyaza will spice his cabinet with 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 young people. And also, what what um, is interesting, I think he might also reconfigure Lebohamaile uh, uh, to one of the. Uh, the infrastructure uh, position or, or, you know, play around with his uh, uh, the current cabinet. But he's also not trying to purge uh, the alliance. But the alliance also came hard uh, to the ANC. You recall that the alliance at some point, they said they must see a possibility of trying to, to, to context the elections alone. So I'm thinking now that the, the, the Banyaza uh, might try to want to unify, uh, particularly looking at the uh, 2024 uh, election, mm -hmm. because like he mentioned that he has a big task, particularly in the ANC, that he has 18 months to deliver uh, uh, the mandate and also to ensure that people re-elect uh, the ANC to power. So he has that particular role in mind that we need to unify all these alliances. He needs them. They need each other in order to win in 2024. But coming from where he's sitting, uh, in terms of his appointment, he's also going to look into the question of merit. But Anyaza is a person who uh, he embodies education uh, very well. So I think that people that is going to appoint are people of stature, people who are uh, uh, quite versed with the question of education and so and skills. So I think uh, uh, Panyaza will not make mistake because he really understands the power of education and many other important uh, aspects. So uh, he's going for young people. He's not going to patch uh, the alliance, but he's going to unify all of them. Dr. Mulepo, it's interesting what you say about uh, the former executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, Park Star, who's now a member of council in the economic cluster. Why do you think he will be excluded this time around? I mean, at, at one point, he was mooted to be a, a, a potential premier of the province of Gauteng. Do you reckon that they might not be able to work together? What, what are your reasons? My, my reasons are because one, uh, I think uh, in terms of the uh, going to the election, you remember that the, like I indicated, that uh, the ANC provincial election, uh, Pakistan and others were not that prominent. Actually, their function, their faction lost. So the faction that dictates, uh, obviously, uh, like they will perceive that this unity, but the faction of Adewale uh, dominated that particular PEC. And I think Pakistan doesn't find expression with that, that particular faction. So I think uh, in terms of Banyaza looking forward to, to unify, he will rather sacrifice uh, 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 Pakistan and many others. I think maybe perhaps they will want to push him for national. So, so that is my view. But uh, uh, we are yet to see what will happen later on. But I'm just thinking that maybe perhaps uh, they want to push him for for national and open a vacuum for other uh, uh, young people to to leave. Do you, is that the sense you have that uh, uh, we'll see a younger provincial cabinet coming in? Yes, and it's coming. Definitely, uh, I know, uh, I have a feeling that the uh, dialogue will come. Uh, if you were to look into the legislature from the ANC, you find that Kiriboni uh, Diale, Leso Makubela, Chiluan, Ezra, Lezuala, those are young people, and also they've been vo very vocal in terms of the uh, uh, the ascendancy of, of many other uh, uh, comrades in the, in, in, in the ANC, particularly in the last conference, and who those who have particular influence towards the this, uh, particular appointments or the PEC. So I'm thinking that Banyaza will also try to balance that question of gender and also the question of young people. And, and he's going to look into the structures of young people who are participating very well. So I think uh, 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 we are likely to see 
uh, young people and, and I think Banyaza by bringing young people he's planning for the future of how then that uh, you as you bring young people we must also think of the future because young people are the future of this particular country so once you bring uh, young people you already uh, start the debate of succession but we have already identified them at a young pay, uh, at a young age and then I think Banyaza's uh, mission is also one to see young people uh, also ascending to, to power and also not ascending to power but learning how to deliver and how to govern the country. There's two parallel prerogatives at the same time. On the one hand, it's uh, unifying the African National Congress. On the other hand, is serving the people of Gauteng, which trumps the other. Well, obviously, uh, saving people of Houting is the most important one, not only for continuing the internal battles or politics that makes one for you to go to uh, be able to save the people of uh, Houting. So I think what is critical is that the ANC uh, uh, should be able to send uh, uh, comrades or, or, or colleagues who are able to deliver those particular services to the um, uh, general society of Houthi. That's why the people like uh, Panyaza, who resonate very well with the masses of Houthi, could easily uh, 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 govern this particular province. So it's important that whoever get elected, they, they don't elect for themselves or appointed for themselves. They are there for on the behest of the masses of Houthi. And obviously some of us who are sitting that we want to see them that they need to deliver service to our people or else our people are going to 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 to, to ignore them come 2024 so uh, just finally which for you are the most important portfolios as he comes in and he say he commits to wanting to fight against corruptions but there's also the prerogative of growing the economy of Gauteng uh, and also as we come out of uh, the COVID-19 restrictions health could be seen uh, as an important focus area which one for you are the most important uh, for Lisufi's time in office? Well, mo all of them are important, but I think the equation of economy of Gauteng as an economic hub, I think it's one of the most important thing, not only uh, that, but the safety, because the, it's, it's a serious concern uh, about safety in Gauteng, uh, and then also the question of health, obviously, plays a very fundamental uh, role. Uh, it's a biggest portfolio. Uh, I think uh, on education, I think Panyaza will uh, likely to prioritize on those particular four, which obviously will inform and integrate with other uh, 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 most important structure. And also not forget the question of public transport and, and, and so on infrastructure. So I think uh, 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 Panyaza, uh, will try also to ensure that his portfolio uh, keeps running. And uh, I, I'm telling you, he might appoint Madume Chiluan on that part. Well, portfolio because uh, uh, Madume has said in that part, as a chairperson of the uh, portfolio committee of education, I think he might serve in that particular uh, position. So I think I, uh, Banyaza will, will do best for the people of Houthi.